Tires are perhaps the most overlooked components of a car. Most see them as merely black hoops wrapped around a wheel. What we fail to realize is that healthy tires are as crucial as fuel to run a vehicle. Manufacturing a tire then is a science in itself, replete with physical and virtual processes. Let's drive straight into how a tire is made. Before the rubber is vulcanized, the tire is conceptualized on a computer. That's because the performance of a tire needs to match with the performance of the vehicle it's going into. Here's Renji Isaac, head of R&D at Seat Tires, explaining the virtual development of a new tire. Any uh, new tire development starts with virtual development. Only when that virtual development, the in virtual development, we reach a certain level of performance, we actually go for a the actual prototyping. This is more sustainable and faster. The machines that you see behind is a flat track machine which can be used to simulate the, the handling characteristics of a tire and we have another machine near, nearby which is a high speed uniformity machine where we can simulate the ride and uh, noise, noise comfort of the uh, tire. So with this we can uh, create virtual models of the tire as well uh, to evaluate in a virtual car. So it's not only in product development but on tuning the uh, tire performance for a given car, we are using the virtual technologies. First is mixing, which itself happens in two stages. In the first part, raw materials, rubber, carbon black and some chemicals are fed into the mixing chamber. Powdered and liquid raw materials are fed through shoot systems. The solid raw material is placed on a charging conveyor. After the mixing is over, this master batch is passed through a roller to convert the material into sheets. The sheet is then cooled and stacked on a skid. Step 2 is extruding. In the extruder, the rubber compound is forced through a die to create a desired shape. This extruded item is then stored in spool form. Step 3 is bead preparation. Copper coated steel wires are passed through a die where it is coated with rubber and wound to get beads. Over the wound bead, an extruded piece of rubber is applied. The inner rim of the tyre, called the carcass in industry speak, is lined with steel wire in case of trucks and buses. Polyester fabric is used for lining the carcass of car tyres. Step 4 is calendaring and cutting. The fabric, steel and tyre compound goes through four rows that rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise alternately. The rubber is fed between rolls 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. The result is thin rubber layers. The fabric, steel wire or nylon are fed between rolls 2 and 3. This fabric steel gets coated on both sides by thin rubber layer. This gives what is called a calendar fabric. The tyre fabric steel is cut into different dimensions as required by the tyre design. Step 5 is tyre building. This is the assembly area in a tyre factory. All rubber components after getting manufactured are brought here for assembly. The assembly takes place on three different drums. One, the ply and bead are assembled to create the carcass. Two, the belt and tread are assembled to create the B and T package. And three, the carcass and B and T package are assembled to produce green tire. Finally is curing. This is the vulcanization process. The green tires are brought here and loaded onto the press. The press has bladder and molds. These molds are heated using steam and the bladder is pressurized. Using pressure and temperature, the green tyre gets cured inside the press. When the press opens, we get the tyre as we see in our vehicles.